Welcome to the Milago Network. You're watching our upgrading guide on DMC, otherwise known as Devil May Cry. Now for those of you that are new to the series, basically upgrades make Dante more powerful. And you get upgrades uh, by killing enemies. They're basically white orbs that allow you to buy more combos, abilities, etc, uh, etc. Et so, before you start upgrading, I would really suggest you beat Mission 2 first. That way you'll have enough weapons that'll be worth upgrading. Mission 2 gives you, jeez, one, two, three weapons in total. Um, Orisis, Ophion, and the Arbiter Axe. So, let's go into the shop here, and this is the upgrades section. You can upgrade abilities, which are jumping, and, let's just look. Jumping, uh, evading, which, um, after mission two, I suggest, uh, starting with Demon Evade to upgrade, as you can see here. You have two levels, uh, just stick with level one for now. That's all that's really needed. And... Next, you want to go into the Arbiter section, and I would suggest Trinity Smash. Judgment is good, but um, firstly, I would suggest Trinity Smash. That's one of the best attacks you can uh, purchase for the Arbiter. And along with dealing more damage, combos also rack up the uh, hacker score. And that's your style score. As you can see, it says SS or B for Brutal, A for Anarchic. And that's tallied up at the end of each mission for your total score, which grants you uh, a certain amount of red orbs. And aside from upgrades, we've got items. And the most important of these items are the health crosses. These are expensive, and each time you buy what uh, the health, I mean, the price goes up. You can also uh, attain health cross fragments in secret missions and in certain missions of DMC. So it's suggested that you kind of wait on health crosses and just unlock as many as you can in uh, um, the secret missions. But if you are going to buy one, just wait until... Jeez, a lot of waits in there. Just hold off on buying one until you need health in a mission and use the Divinity Statue to purchase it because they have no penalty, no item penalty at the end of a mission and it doesn't degrade your score but it restores all of your health, plus giving you one extra health bar. So that's very, very useful. I believe the Devil Trigger Cross also increases your, uh, along with increasing your Devil Trigger Bar, it also uh, refills it, so that's another thing you'd want to wait for. And as with the Health Cross, the Devil Trigger Cross does increase with price each time you purchase it. And, uh, if you use any items, as you can see here, you can buy different items, such as, uh, Devil Trigger Stars to restore your Devil Trigger Meter, Vital Stars, um, to restore your health, or Gold Orbs to respawn you exactly where you die. You do, uh, have a penalty for using them. I believe it's minus 10,000 points for using each item, and it stacks. If you don't have the Devil Trigger Bar yet, don't worry, you will get it. You can't miss it. It's within the storyline. And that's about it. There's different levels for each uh, combo. Usually they just pertain to either speed or damage. Sometimes they add depth to a combo, but they usually don't. And, uh, yeah, that, that's about it. There are a certain number of uh, combos, of course. They do run out. And you'll have to replay levels to get enough upgrade points to unlock them all. So it's suggested that if you're having a hard time on a mission, just replay some old levels, farm some red orbs, buy some health crosses, and farm some uh, white orbs for upgrade points, as it makes Dante significantly more powerful. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If this uh, DMC upgrade guide helped you out at all, be sure to leave a comment and like this video, and also subscribe for more DMC walkthroughs, guides, tips and tricks, cinematic cutscenes. We got it all on the Milargo channel. And actually, we're walking through DMC right now, so be sure to check those videos out. I've been Wolf, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.